They wanted a nice, good look. A wife. Getting a good look and then doing it again two more times. And possibly a victim of sexual that. discrimination. All right, that's enough. You call this... Folks, it's all sexual assault. You know, they say yeah, in Denver, women can't fly now because they can't get enough female TSA agents. That's Denver Post. They're saying, yes, if we don't have female screeners to, to grope you, you can't fly now because you're a terrorist. You're all terrorists. You're the American people. We work for foreign banks. We're actually the terrorists, but we're going to call you terrorists and teach you to feel guilty. And they're saying, well, we don't have any women here today. You can't fly. And they're just like, get out of here, sweet cakes. Well, I mean, it, would it be okay for a man to rape a man? I mean, I don't want anybody grabbing me or my family, you scumbag filth. Texas, Alex Jones. The one, the only, Max Kaiser coming up and your call's continuing. Let's go to Nicholas in Illinois right now. And then we'll go to Jay. Uh, Nicholas, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Jay. Doing a great job. And I uh, know it's been logging a lot of uh, company hours. I think you uh, need a little vacay. I'm going to grant you as a fellow shareholder. I think you should get a couple days vacation. You know, it would be good for you. <laughs> well, you know, the info war never rests, but I am going to be going on the road for a week when I speak in Dallas and then in Florida. Uh, and But I'll be doing the radio show every day and actually working on the road. This is not work. When a bunch of scum is taking over your society and thinks they're winning, let me tell you, I can't control myself. I don't even see this as work. The problem is uh, I, I probably work too much and then the quality goes down. But uh, this is not work, my friend. I hate these people something fierce. It's a great attitude. Um, but I'm more here to uh, not necessarily talk to you, AJ. I want to talk to uh, the closet truthers or the people that are on the fence um, about this whole truth movement. And um, I have more disrespect for those people that have been informed to the information but are afraid to speak out than people than the zombies that never even been exposed to it because they just don't know the information. Well, I mean, Newsweek admitted that the hijackers were trained at U.S. bases. And I've interviewed the embassy heads that say they were ordered to protect them. The underwear bomber was protected. It's all hiding in plain view. I'm not saying there aren't some Muslim terrorists. My point is, is that they work for NATO. Absolutely. Uh, what I've personally done to try to uh, awaken people, which I call awakening pamphlets, I have uh, went online and bought some refill Monopoly money, um, pretty cheap, and just put a little flyer in the back of it uh, asking people to please watch certain YouTube movies such as uh, Loose Change, Final Cut, 9-11, uh, Truth, Hollywood Speaks Out, Obama Deception, and uh, just hand them out to people that I feel need to be awakened. Um, I do frequently hand them out to police officers. You know, I'm, I have a little conversation. I'm like, have you heard of uh, this Obama Deception? Uh, supposedly the guy that fired uh, at the White House watched this. So this kind of gets a spark in their head, so maybe they're more likely to watch it. And uh, I think other people need to get active in such little things like this. Yeah, when you approach military and police, just say this is a really hot underground video. Uh, with some r really interesting stuff, uh, you know, watch it and, you know, maybe if I see you at this coffee shop again or, or at the grocery store again, you know, tell me what you think. Uh, or give them your own little business card. Give your, you know, yourself an organization name, uh, you know, whatever the name of your town is, you know, Happyville for Freedom or whatever, or Austinites for Liberty. Give them the card with a, a little blog or website or Facebook on it. Give them a free DVD, give them some info, and say, hey, contact me. Tell me what you think. God bless you. Good to hear from you. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Jay in New York. Jay, you're on the air. Hello? Hey, buddy. Hello? Yes, sir. Alex? Yep. Hi. Wow, you really don't censor anything. Uh, what do you mean? Major... What do you mean? I mean no. Well, people well, lie and say all my calls are fake and we screen them, but as you notice, we don't screen them, but go ahead. And my real concern is... Uh about this uh, chemtrails and stuff. My friend uh, found out about this not too long ago, uh, and he just freaked out, and he's just he's like putting himself in the house, not even coming out and stuff like that. No, that's and silly. You're not going to get away from the aluminum dioxide, barium salts, and other things that way. Uh, it's all part of a giant admitted uh, terra-farming geoengineering program, and so it's ongoing. You can't hide in the house from it. One other thing though also that I recognized recently is that when I'm actually sleeping at night, I'm hearing this humming noise. What is that? Do you know? Well, there was the Kokomo hum in Indiana that ABC News reported on about 15 years ago. It's been associated a lot of times with with government underground tunneling where they're building railways will cause a um, a vibrational hum. 
There's also earthquakes and things that happen super deep that can cause hums. Or it could be a transformer or piece of equipment nearby that's oscillating with your roof or something in your home. Uh, and DARPA does admit, and this must give the schizophrenics nightmares, that they have developed systems that go on top cell towers that can uh, affect people's moods, and they're testing these psychotronic weapons on the public. The, the fact that they're testing them is admitted, but the details are classified. Network. Well, there is a plethora, a cornucopia, a wide spectrum of issues I want to discuss with Max Kaiser. He's a filmmaker, broadcaster, TV host, inventor of virtual specialist technology, Hollywood Stock Exchange. And we really appreciate uh, him joining us here today. MaxKaiser.com is his website, MaxKaiser.com. And again, our websites are Infowars.com and InfowarsNews.com, as well as PrisonPlanet.tv. And remember, the globalists are coming in more and more. I've got stacks of it today calling for total censorship, total surveillance. They're now saying they're going to shut down your website separate from SOPA with this ACTA, this global treaty. If someone claims trademark or, I'm going to go to Max here in a moment, trademark or uh, copyright just claims it. And uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I got a letter two years ago from Taser International out of Scottsdale, Arizona, saying, do not use the word taser in your articles. It is a trademark and copyrighted. And I called the lawyer up and I said, you think I'm stupid? I said, I know this is part of the English language and is a news article under the First Amendment. I said, I'm not selling products under the name taser. And I said, don't try a slap with me. And he went, oh, I'll just disregard that. <laughs> we send out thousands of those. Th thousands. You do, huh? Well, I got a new one yesterday threatening us to not use, but you know what, I, I'm going to wait till I talk about it because they're threatening us and stuff and, 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 and saying that they have this right. And, I, I, and it's, it's not a battle I want to take on, but I'll definitely take it on if I have to because it's, it's got, they want to kill the language. Remember, they were going to uh, get a trademark on the, on the word uh, SEAL Team 6, Disney was, and then no one could use SEAL Team 6. And you're like, but that's the language. This is how they're inverting private property rights. The big globalists steal real property, like Max Kaiser's uh, virtual trading system, uh, and don't pay him a dime. But then when you try to use English, they come after you. Side issue. The reason I'm plugging the websites is you better appreciate them. I don't talk about half the stuff, even less than half the stuff that goes on around here. The stuff we've already gone through. They're coming for the web. You better use Infowars.com now. You better appreciate the articles like Holdren at Science Budget Briefing. Leaner and meaner despite $2.6 billion for global change research. Another one. No one but Ron Paul, money bomb, aims to raise $3 million. Here's another one. Navy SEALs say false flag to be blamed on Iran may happen at any time. I think that's a pretty big article. Uh, TSA forces woman to use naked body scanner three times because she's cute. They tell her, Obama's CFR Economic Council director calls for global tax. That might be something you might be concerned about. New World Trade Center site to become military-grade police state hub. Russian Army chief decision on attacking Iran to be made by summer. It just goes on and on. I mean, it is all cuckoo land. All over the country, from New York City to Chicago to L.A., they're stopping people and doing frisk with no due process or stopping people on the streets and frisking them. What the TSA is beta testing, police are going, I can do that too? Uh, it's, it's crazy. Now, I want to get Max Kaiser on about everything. I want to talk about the economy, about the latest on MF Global, about the global meltdown, about uh, Moody's devaluing a whole bunch of European countries again, when it's Moody's that works for the big banks that sold everybody the garbage, who are really insolvent. I want to ask him about everything, but out of the gates, Max Kaiser, with Iran, Syria, all of it, what is front and center on your radar screen right now? What, what, what's got you fired up? What makes you leap out of bed at 5 a.m. in the morning, turbocharging towards the uh, coffee maker, like I know you do, to fight for liberty? What's got you going wild? Uh, first of all, what is a psychotronic weapon? 
That's what I want to know. Uh, it's just electronic, ultra low frequency, high frequency, different combinations uh, that can make you sick, make you happy, make you aroused. Uh, they, they, they've had them for more than 60 years. Uh, different wavelengths that affect brain chemistry. Yeah, because I know they have those uh, laser sound uh, now where they can pinpoint an individual with a sound from 100 yards away. It or projects half a mile away, into the so. middle ear, yes. Uh, it, it, oh. yeah, yeah, that's that's a patent in the 40s. Yes, they have that. But now they're moving just to frequencies that are broadcast through the cell towers. On record, DARPA admits this, that can affect mood. But details remain classified, Max. Kind of like the White House Science Art admits they're spraying stuff in the air. But, but, but details are classified, Max. You don't need to know about that. Oh, did you see that in the U United Kingdom that um, somebody... There was a case with the Rothschilds where um, somebody called the Rothschilds a puppet master, and the courts in the UK said this is not libelous, that in fact the Rothschilds, uh, you can call them puppet master. Th this was just broken in the UK press like two days ago. You probably already covered it. Uh, you know, I didn't mention it, but it was Daily Mail got sued by him, and uh, the head Rothschild said, I don't meet with oligarchs, I don't control Russian oligarchs, even though, as you know, it'd come out that whenever they would bust an oligarch, Putin would, th th they would learn that the billions of dollars were really belong to the Rothschilds and the guy was a front. I mean, I remember that in a bunch of news articles, and so I know that w the paper won the suit and has now found photos of him actually over in Russia with them. Yeah, so um, Stacy, of course, uh, my um, my companion, girlfriend, and Valentine Day lover, uh, immediately said, "Oh, there, Alex Jones is right again." I wish I wasn't right. I wish you weren't right. The NDAA, all of it, Max. What What do you make of that? Of him going, "I don't run anything. I don't have any power. Look over there." Um. Well, I, I tell you, you asked me what's what's on my mind these days. I, I mean, I think the MF Global story is an important change, a sea change. It, it's uh, it's the end of one era and the beginning of a new era. The nobody nobody questions, nobody doubts now that what happened was that a bank, a bank in this case, um, J.P. Morgan, simply went.